Hi guys, it's Chelsea and today I'm going to be talking to you about gratitude and mindfulness because I have been adamantly practicing gratitude since the beginning of the year, this year, and it was one of my New Year's resolutions and it's really, really, really changed my mindset. If you're like me at all, you might think of practicing mindfulness and practicing gratitude as some like hippy dippy shit, which not gonna lie to you, that's how I started this whole process was I I was just not, I, I, like I had no problem, problem practicing gratitude. Obviously there's nothing wrong with that and no one would have any problem saying, yeah, you know, like, I, I don't mind practicing gratitude. Like, everyone wants to be a good person, you know what I mean? So, y everyone is kind of open to practicing gratitude, but you have to make it a habit for yourself because then it goes deeper than just, like, being a good person. I've written down the top four benefits for practicing gratitude that I've noticed over the last 11 months. I just want to talk to you about how it's changed me and then give you guys some tips as to how you can start practicing gratitude and making it a part of your daily ritual. I truly believe that this has changed my life for the better and I just want to share that with you since we are in the holiday season and yeah, Thanksgiving has come and gone, but there are other ways to practice gratitude in your everyday life, so let's just go ahead and talk about them. So first, let me just tell you about the benefits of practicing gratitude, and then I'm going to give you the, like, eight ways that you can start practicing gratitude. So benefit number one is that it improves your psychological health. Like truly it improves your mental health, your clarity, and mental health is a really big topic right now. A lot of people are speaking on mental health and I think that, you know, as a person that has suffered from their own mental health problems in the past, gratitude is something that can really give you a boost in that area of your life. And the reason for it is because, first of all, it can help you reduce depression. When you think about the positives in your life and you really take a moment to intentionally and mindfully think about positive things in your life and things that you're grateful for, it will reduce depression and might not be a cure for everybody. I know that everyone's different. Some people really have chemical imbalances in their bodies and things of that nature, but it cannot hurt at all to practice gratitude when you are having downtime. I mean, when you are having a mental low, it really does help bring you back up because you are consciously thinking about the positive aspects in your life. It also adds a sense of fullness to your life. If you are someone that constantly feels like something is lacking in your life, something is just a little bit off, or you're constantly looking for something to fill a small void that you fill in your life, feel in your life, gratitude can help with that because again, makes you more aware of the things that you do have and you start being able to look at what you have and then stop trying to fill a void that doesn't actually exist. You can fill a void that you have in your life by just appreciating the things that you already have. Those things will fill your void. It's just, I think in our society today, we are so uh, programmed to consistently want more and more and more um, to fulfill us and I'm guilty of that as well. I mean, I like, you know, I live a very minimal lifestyle on the road in my camper, but I still have these urges in my mind where I'm like, man, that, that jacket is really cool. I wish I could have that jacket or like whatever it might be or like constantly chasing experiences and things like that. So take a step back, look at the things that you have done, the things that you do currently have, the things that you own, the people that are in your life, make it a point to be grateful for those things and you'll see that the things that you feel like you're lacking, you're not really lacking, you already have a ton. And then the third thing on that note is that it lowers your envy. When you can say that you have a lot of things and acknowledge everything that you do have, you tend to be less envious of other people that have things as well that are different from you. And again, on this like today's society with like social media and everything, which obviously I'm on YouTube, I am 
very much a part of social media and that part of society. So don't think I'm bashing it whatsoever. I'm just saying that one of the aspects of that is that we are very easily made and capable of comparing our lives to other people. So it happens. So again, lower your envy by practicing gratitude for things that you already have. Another, uh, benefit to practicing gratitude is that it improves your health. It improves your health immensely. And what I just realized by talking about this is that I wrote down these four benefits and I'm going through, I'm talking about these points and I'm already like, you know, a, a halfway into the video that I wanted to film and I'm only on point two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this up. I'm talking about the benefits of practicing gratitude right now and this will be one video and then in the next video I will talk about the eight ways that you can implement practicing gratitude into your own life and I'm probably just gonna stop this video at the end of the benefits and then just hit record again and then go straight into the the ways that you can practice it and just upload it in two different videos. So I'll be wearing the same thing but regardless I just don't want this to be too long-winded so I'm gonna break this up but the second reason to practice gratitude is because it improves your physical health as well. When you start being grateful for the health that you do have, and if you guys know me, you know that I have a funny heart. It's uh, very sensitive to heat and my heart can like kind of go crazy sometimes which causes me to pass out and therefore it does prevent me sometimes from doing physical activities that I want to do like walking around Disney World or going on a hike or uh, there's a lot of things that I'm kind of you know held back from sometimes because of my heart so anyway when I started not focusing on the negative aspects of my health and start started to implement being grateful for the positive aspects of my health, I wanted to take care of my health better. I want to preserve the good things that I do have. So I might not have a fully functional heart, but I do have two healthy legs that can help me walk and I've got all 10 fingers that help me you know hold things and text people I care about and write things down and journal and play with my dog and go climbing like I I do still have aspects of my health that are positive so I want to retain those positive aspects so once I started being grateful for those things I started wanting to take care of them more so I started going on bike rides more I quit smoking um, I started practicing yoga and just wanting my body to be stronger I started eating healthier because I do want to retain it so it does also affect your physical health because you're more conscious of what you're doing because you're being grateful. Number three is that it helps your relationships. There is nothing like being underappreciated. I mean, it is one of the worst feelings. If you go out of your way to do something for someone and they just don't notice, it sucks. Maybe you, you know, your mom is always getting on you about not cleaning or helping around the house or whatever. And then one day you do do something that is involved with cleaning or benefits the household in some way. And she doesn't even notice that it's done. That sucks. It feels bad. It disincentivizes you to do it again. Same goes in relationships. If someone does something small for you and or you do something small for somebody or even something big and you don't get a thank you out of it or some type of acknowledgement it feels bad and so you are less likely to do it again you know what i mean that's in friendships platonic relationships romantic relationships family relationships anything when you have business relationships whatever when you have some type of communication in a relationship with another person and you show gratitude for that person and what they do, you're reinforcing positive behavior and they are more inclined to continue to give to you and do well by you because you're showing appreciation for it. What do you know? So that's one of those things that it kind of goes into creating your own reality and teaching people how to treat you is 
when you are good to them and you make them feel good about the things that they do, it's giving for others because it makes them feel good, but it's also kind of selfish in a way because then they really are more inclined to continue to treat you well. And so yes, there is a selfish aspect of gratitude. It's just, it, it's just how it is. But yeah, showing appreciation for the people around you is never a bad thing. It's good for them. It's good for you. So why not? And the last benefit of practicing gratitude would be that it, it just breeds more happiness in general. When you can sit back and find the positives in your life and the things that you can be grateful for, it teaches you to be happier. I mean, it truly does. And I'm going to go more into this particular bullet point in the next video when I talk about how to practice gratitude because yes I can say right now that it breeds happiness but I really want to elaborate on that and show you scientifically how that works and I don't want to give away too much here because I already feel like I'm making a long-winded video so I will talk about that more in the next video about the ways that you can practice gratitude for yourself. So these are the benefits to practicing gratitude. I hope that you enjoy it and I hope that it kind of hooks your curiosity a little bit to watching the next one because it does make your life better but like mentally and in a very wholesome way but also in a very shallow and selfish way good things come to those that are grateful for what they're receiving. That's all I can say. It's like some weird law of attraction. I don't really know the ins and outs of how it works, but I'm telling you, watch my next video because once you start practicing, I mean, practice these things for literally seven days, just one week. Just give it a go, the things that I'm about to talk about. Practice it for seven days and tell me that so something good isn't happening to you. For real. You start receiving things that you want. It's wild. Anyway, that's all for right now. Stay tuned for the next portion of this video. I'm really excited to talk to you guys about it. I hope that you enjoy it. Give this video a thumbs up if you would. It really does mean a lot to me. Subscribe if you haven't already because I need that internet validation, you guys. I just... just, just Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> I really do appreciate it when you do. And, uh, yeah, guys, I will see you guys in the next video, which I'm about to film right now in this same spot. See you next time. <laughs>